G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today we've got this pretty cool looking 14th scale buggy. This is a brush powered buggy and this was sent to me from a company called R Lalo. Uh, they are an Amazon vendor and I believe this one is a, a new released model of theirs. And um, I've actually seen this same sort of buggy advertised elsewhere under the XDKJ-001 model number, which is the same model number for this particular Alalo buggy. So yeah, they state that this has got a 60 km hour top speed. This one does have oil filled shocks. It is hobby grade, so you can get parts for it. And uh, when we have a closer look at it, you'll see exactly how similar this is to a very popular 14 scale buggy that's been released for the last couple of years. So uh, yeah, on the box here, we've got some nice artwork of the side profile of this buggy and um, a bit of a photo there of the transmitter. I really do like the look of this transmitter, by the way. Uh, it's not like some of the other uh, RC transmitters that I've seen elsewhere in the past couple of years. So let's open this box, we'll have a quick look at this buggy, and then I'll take it for a test run and see how it performs. Okay guys, so here's everything that we get in the box. First off, we'll have a look at the user manual here. Nice little user manual. It will have everything that you need to know guys about the workings of this uh, buggy and we've got all exploded diagrams and a parts list in the back and these parts will be cross compatible with another buggy that I'll show you uh, in this video uh, so parts will be very easy to find they also threw in uh, some tie rod ends here it looks like we've got about eight of them here okay some spares also got couple of sets of body clips here, screwdriver and the wheel wrench. It's a metal one, which is good to see. We have a charger here with a second battery as well. We get two LiPos here, two S LiPos. They're 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp hours. Onto the transmitter. Now this transmitter, I really like the look of it. I've never seen a transmitter that is designed like this before. I really like the red accent of the foam on the wheel here and the position of the actual wheel as well. It's a bit lower than normal. Uh, very basic controller. It's made up of, out of very light plastic, but we have everything that we need on this transmitter. We've got the on and off switch there. We've got a throttle trim to change the speeds from low to high. We've got our dual rate, uh, which is the steering rate here and the string trim to trim it up. Now this one doesn't take a usual four AA batteries. It just takes three. So uh, yeah. There you have it. Not a bad looking controller. Okay guys, now onto the best bit. Let's have a closer look at this Alalo buggy here, or known as the XDKJ001. And uh, I really do love the look of this buggy guys. This is a 114th scale RC, just like the 144001. I really do like the design of the body shell on this one. It actually looks like a mini Armour Typhon. Uh, as you can see here, it's a really nice looking body shell here. I love the design and colours of this one. And on the back here, we've got this rather large rear wing as well, guys. As you can see, it's got oil filled shocks. Okay, they're dampened really nicely. And we've got some unique looking wheels here as well, which I guess they do look similar to the Typhon as well. All right, guys, so uh, yeah, very nicely made and quality looking buggy this one. Now you probably already noticed uh, while I got the buggy in my hand that this looks very similar to another popular 14 scale buggy that's been out on the market for ages. And uh, that's because you are actually correct. This basically underneath is a WL Toys 144001 guys. And uh, the only real differences that I could see is, is that all the metal parts on this one, even though they look like they might be plastic on first glance, they are just painted in black rather than having this uh, light silver in a, on the WL Toys models. So what that really means, and it's a good thing, is that uh, all the parts that you can buy for the WL Toys uh, models online, which is basically everywhere, are gonna be cross compatible with this new Alalo XDK J001. Okay guys, so let's have a closer look and I'll show you the exact 
um, similarities between the two. So as you can see here, the oil-filled shocks look very similar, if not the same, as the WL toys. We also have the exact same shock towers on both models, and even the actual front CVDs, hub carriers, are all the same design as the WL toys. Looking overhead, as you can see, they are exactly the same size and have the same wheelbase, except the body shells are totally different and the rear wing is different as well. Underneath, you can see the swing arms are identical on both models here. And even the placement of where everything screws onto these chassis is exactly the same. As you can see there, the position of the screws are exactly the same throughout. On the front portion here, exactly the same. Now this is a metal chassis as well guys, it's just painted black, that's all. So this has the same exact build quality as the WL Toys uh, RCs, as far as all alloy parts. As you can see here, the Alalo has some different looking wheels. I really do like the design of these wheels. And they do both sit at the exact same height as the WL Toys. Okay guys, looking at the electronics on the Alalo. It has a all-in-one ESC, much like the WL Toys model here, in the same position. The actual uh, second floor chassis brace is the exact same design as well. Both powered off a 550 motor. The new Alalo is no different. This has a 550 brush motor, rated to 60 k's an hour. As you can see, we've got the Velcro strap holding the LiPo in, much like the original WL Toys 144001. The only real differences I can see is the actual uh, turnbuckles or tie rods on the WL Toys they are adjustable and in metal. When on the XDKJ001, they are plastic. And I guess that's why maybe they give you a whole bunch of spares. Okay, so basically, that's the only difference I can see between the two. You can see it's fully adjustable there, toe and camber. All these ones are, are plastic. They are flexible though. So they're probably not going to snap in a hurry. But the good thing is, is that you can upgrade this uh, buggy here with the WL Toys uh, adjustable tie rods. And the servo looks to be pretty much the same as the WL Toys. Same size, just like the size of the 144001. There's one more thing that I'd like to add uh, that's different than the WL Toys 144001. As you can see on the back here, the body post, there's two of them to accommodate those two holes on the, uh, on the shell. So there's three body clips that hold the body on the Alalo, whereas the WL Toys, you only need two body clips on the front and rear. Now going on to the wheels and tyres of the Alalo, I really do actually like them. They uh, seem to be of the same rubber quality as the WL Toys models. Nice and soft and it does feel like they do fill up with air. There might be a bit of foam in there as well. But the rubber does have the same feel, or very similar feel to the WL Toys models. Okay guys, well we went through the similarities between both models. Really loving the look of this one though. Um, I love the Typhon style body on this. So uh, anyway guys, I'm going to charge up both those LiPos. What we're going to do, we're going to take this one for a bash test, see how it performs. Has pretty much the same specs as the WL Toys 144001. Uh, so yeah, in this video, we'll take for a bash test, see how it performs. And then in a separate video, I'm going to do a speed test between these two cars. Um, and we'll see exactly how they go head to head. Uh, they're very similar spec like I just said. 550 brush motors, we've got an all-in-one ESC, and pretty much very similar in every other way, except the design. So uh, the WL Toys 144001 I've got here in the background is basically brand new out of the box. 
So they're going to be on an even level playing field uh, when I put these ones head to head because that I have not used that 144001 at all except to fire it up to make sure everything works. So anyway guys, I'll meet you out at the field and we'll test out the new Alalo XDKJ001. Okay guys, I'm out here with the Alalo buggy here, the XDKJ-01, which is also known as. And uh, this is going to be my very first run with it. I've got one of the 2S LiPos in there charged up. Also have my uh, little uh, Sky RC GPS reader in here as well. And uh, we're ready to go for its first test drive. I haven't actually taken this out of the box and uh, tested it at home at all. So uh, you probably noticed one of the clips are missing here on the body shell. So anyway, right now I just lost it uh, putting the actual body shell on. Um, one of them came out of my hand and it's been lost somewhere here in the bitumen. I, for the life of me, can't find it. So anyway, it's meant to have three on there instead of two. But it should hold on pretty good anyway. So we're going to test it out. We've got 12 satellites here. Just going to um, put that on a zero. It's reset zero kilometers. So let's see what it can get on a freshly charged battery, the 2S. And uh, wow, first time running it, guys. Pretty punchy. Very similar to the WL Toys. And very nice and responsive on this controller, guys. It's got great brakes as well. Okay, let's see what we've got. Pretty quick. Tires seem pretty grippy too. Very responsive controls. I really do like this controller. First time ever using it just now, guys. So, see what it got. 47 kilometers an hour on the stock battery. I think that's pretty close to the WL Toys that uh, when you buy a 144001 these days, it seems like it's pretty much on par with it. But anyway, I'll test that out. I'll put these two head to head in another video. We'll do some speed run testing versus the brand new WL Toys 144001 that I bought off eBay. It's never been ran before, like I mentioned at the start of this video. But for now, we'll do a bit of, uh, you know, running around on this uh, bitumen here. And um, then I'll try to see if I can take it off-road somewhere, all right, guys? And we'll see how it goes on the lawn. But uh, for now, 47 k's an hour, that's not too bad. It is not the stated claim speed uh, that uh, they do claim. I think they claim 60. Maybe they're meaning that this will get 60 on 3S like most of these companies do. But as always, it's nothing out of the norm these days that they over-exaggerate their claims. But saying that, Companies like WL Toys do the exact same thing. Uh, they claim 60 k's an hour on their buggy. And this one does seem to be performing very much like the WL Toys guys. The bonus about this one is that we have steering dual rate guys. And I've actually turned it down. I'm going to turn it all the way up. which you can't do on the WL Toys models. It's got really good grippy tires. Great brakes as well. Yeah, I'm liking this so far. Very much like the WL Toys in the way it drives. Like I showed you at the start of this video, it's very similar. And uh, look at the brakes on that. There's a reverse. Really cool. Like I showed you at the start, as I was saying, all the parts are very similar. Um, the only thing, this one does not have adjustable turnbuckles for your toe and camber, but just buy some WL Toys ones and you'll actually rectify that. We have fully adjustable tie rods on this buggy. But yeah, as it sits, she's pretty powerful. 
And earlier models of this, a friend of mine in the US, Ryan Duval, actually reviewed this probably about a month ago. And his one, unfortunately, didn't come, the very first series didn't come with the uh, oil field shocks. He's had friction shocks, but since then, Alalo have upgraded these to oil field shocks, just like um, the WL Toys. And uh, yeah, like I said, Ryan's one at RDRC Reviews. Go check out his channel, guys. He's done a great video on this particular buggy. All right, guys, well, I'll leave that for the tarmac uh, running section. I'm going to go and try to find a open field, and we'll see how it goes on the grass, okay, guys? So let's uh, go to a different location. Okay, guys, well, a different location now. Sorry about the wind noise. It is rather windy now. Actually haven't been here for a while, so let's see how it goes off-road. Bit of soft sand here. Wood chips on the bank of this uh, soccer field. Bit of gravel up here to see how it goes on the gravel. It's performing rather well, much like the 144 does. But I'm really liking the look of this uh, Typhon style body a lot better actually <laughs> than the WL Toys body. That's just my opinion. I think I might have something stuck. Yeah, I had a couple of rocks stuck in one of the back wheels. So, you know, on the 2S, more than enough speed that you need for a bit of fun. Performing really well. I really like how the Arlalo model here has uh, dual steering rates, which you don't get on the WL Toys. You never have with those standard controllers. I don't know why they haven't uh, incorporated an extra dial on their standard WL Toys uh, transmitters, you know. Yeah, with the oil field shocks, obviously it's uh, performing well, dampening those jumps. Oil field shocks are working well. I think the battery's getting a bit tight in this one. Alright guys, well, I'll leave it there. The battery is starting to deplete. I could tell because it was slowing down. Uh, this does come with an 1800 milliamp hour LiPo, 2S LiPo, like I showed you at the start of this video, which is actually a bit larger than what you get from WL Toys. Um, the standard 144s only came with a 1500 milliamp hour LiPo. And uh, yeah, big thumbs up from me. I actually really do like this buggy. Uh, I love the actual design of it. It performs really well. Uh, very much on par with the WL Toys. I uh, really like the transmitter, very responsive, works really well. I really like how they put a uh, steering rate on this one uh, compared to the WL Toys where you only just get a steering trim and throttle trim. And yeah, so uh, yeah, big thumbs up from me. You can easily upgrade the parts uh, and interchange with WL Toys ones, especially for the tie rod ends here. 
and uh yeah it'll be even better than what it is now so uh thanks very much for watching guys if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe like comment all that good stuff and you can pick this one up in the description below guys i'll leave a link to the amazon vendor alalo and you can have a look at this uh on amazon okay on us amazon and uh, i'm not too sure of the price of it but i'm guessing it's going to be around the hundred dollar price tag there's probably a coupon code where you can get some money off on amazon like i said i'm not too sure um, of the pricing of this one but uh, i have seen this on other websites under the xd kj uh, dash 001 model which is the same model as uh, this alalo so uh, i may find those links and uh, post them below as well so you can check them out all right guys so thanks very much for watching once again happy RCing, and i'll catch you on the next one bye for now